Mónica. I'm on episode 6 of Sunderland Till I Die, which is a Netflix series about Sunderland. Okay, dude, I can barely, I can barely contain my, dude, I can barely contain my emotions, bro. If you guys want a good Netflix special to watch that's insanely, insanely addictive and good, like literally, I spent most of the flight yesterday coming back home watching that show. It's not as good as Manchester City's All or Nothing, but because that had like Pep Guardiola, like behind the scenes, like coaching stuff. But uh, this is incredibly, incredibly good. As soon as I'm done recording this epi, I'm knee deep in Sunderland, bro. I think I am going to be a Sunderland fan moving forward. So if you guys are Sundays, I don't know what the nickname for the, the Sunderland is, the Black Cats. I'm pretty sure I saw that one. Oh man, dude, that was... <sighs> What's up, boys, and welcome to the return of the videos being recorded from the Zwei Casa Su Casa. Aiden McGinney's 85 rated card, that's what we're going to be looking at today. The first reaction on Twitter and when this card dropped was, holy smokes, this is actually going to cost 50,000 coins. And alas, if you do want to get it done, it is going to cost you 50,000 coins. So you're going to do this card for one of two reasons. One, you're a Sunderland supporter, and even that might test your ability to do this card because you might be so depressed with Sunderland's performance uh, that you... Uh, you, you just have these visions of grandeur of them going back to the Premier League. I'm seriously, I can't recommend enough watching this Sunderland Till I Die Netflix special. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, one, you're a Sunderland fan. Two, you are a massive, massive fan of players like Didier Drogba, uh, Pepe, Serge Aurier, uh, James Collins, McGeady, all players that have at least one start and one call up to the Ivory Coast national team. He splurged out the 50,000 coins. He doesn't get a dynamic pick, which is a little bit disappointing, uh, but he does, however, get some pretty Von Zinn stats. Now, the 71 st stamina, you guys are going to see it in the title. I'm going to call this the Sunderland Super Sub, and that's exactly how you would possibly use this card. Has some ridiculous stats in the form of that 99 agility. The five-star skill moves, as you guys can see here, he's always had that four-star weak foot, high medium, right-footed, uh, and has 88 acceleration with 87 sprint speed. I'm thinking he could actually shape up as a very nice cam. Again, the caveat being, unless you're running a full uh, EFL or, or League 2 or League 1 um, Team of the Season squad, which is what we're going to do in this episode, uh, you're probably going to want to use him as a super sub. So he's got 99 sh uh, long shots. He's got 95 shot power. Finishing doesn't make much sense trying to get, uh, uh, trying to finish inside the box. In theory, with this chem style, with the marksman chem style, he goes up to 88. But decent attacking positioning in 88. And then some nice passing stats. Probably, if you're playing him as a true cam, we're going to try and rip some long shots at him. If this epi helps you out in some way, figure out if you want to do this 85 McGeady card, drop a cheeky like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, and then also, there's actually nothing else. We're going to be rolling with a League One and Championship side, uh, the Ivory Row squad featuring that James Collins that I alluded to earlier. We're going with David Madland Myler over there. We've got Tammy Abraham, Team of the Season flavor. We've got McGinn, who's got some nice distance shooting as well. A very nicely balanced card up the villa, right? So 80 in every stat category there. So a very, very nice uh, card. We've got this Pablo Hernandez. We've got this Aarons. We've got Cooper. We've got Clark. We've got Henderson. And then we've got Steven. So pretty much a full either championship or league one side. It's no surprise that EA released this Aiden McGeady card the day that Yaya Torre announced that he, I believe, is going to retire. Uh, went to go visit Nep and Toby in Bournemouth. That was really, really fun. Got to sleep in one of Nep's, uh, one of Nep's many guest rooms. It was an absolute joy. It was an absolute pleasure. We went to Nando's. I got a peri peri chicken with halloumi and unlimited and, uh, and limited drinks. It was incredible. I want to go back to Bournemouth, bro. It was, ap it was, re it was really, really beautiful. There we go. Myler. Mad Lad Myler with the defensive plays. Let's go, bro. Oh, Collins. What the hell, bro? The McGitty Collins is supposed to be one of the... Uh, the McGitty Collins connection is supposed to be OP. Oh, Tammy Abraham. Why did I shoot like that? Why is my control? Oh, I'm using the wrong controller. That's why, bro. Dude, what the hell? Oh, I'm using the broken controller. I'm such an idiot, dude. I'm actually such an idiot. You got laughs from coast to coast to make you smile. A real life look at each of you to capture all that style. You're the best. That's the most delayed call I've ever seen, bro. Are you serious? He looked left. 
There we go. Beautiful. This guy's a noob. We're about to win this match right here. Stories from your friends next door They never told You might be a star tonight So let that camera roll Referee, surely that's got to be a pen. Thank you. God, we needed a break. All right, what does McGee have? What's McGee got for pens, or does Tammy Abraham deserve it? Um, McGee has. Okay, he's got. Wait, wait, what? Hold on, he's got something like 94. It's Aiden McGee! There we go. Aiden McGee with the long shot blast. 2-1. And I wish it was, was it, I wish it was like a proprietary Ivory Coast celebration. What would they do? Will you have a laugh for be serious? Come on! What a trash goal! I feel like I actually am Sunderland right now. Not that I scored a trash goal, but the entire duration of that Netflix documentary is you just praying that they can get the, the one result. I know what's going to happen. It's like it's like watching Titanic. Like You know how the movie's going to end, but it's still like just gripping. It still leaves you at the edge of your seat like every match. Oh my god, that was it! That was it! We finally reached our final form, but we reached our final form too late. Two goals... Two, uh, two goals scored, two goals with Aiden McGeady. Gets himself an 8.9 at Cam. Uh, let's see, shots on target, 4 out of 6. Passes completed, 21 out of 25. So he's very efficient, 17 out of 26. Uh, and then crosses completed, obviously wasn't doing a whole lot of crosses with how we were actually trying to execute this squad. But uh, Aiden McGeady was very surprising given, you know, given that the first half was basically... Uh, just useless because we were using the wrong controller. I'm pretty proud of how the championship side and uh, the League One side rose to the occasion there in match uh, in the second half. Little red Corvette, a 187 squad with the tribute cards. He's a virgin for sure. Hey, Tammy man, Abraham. Go. Ooh, up the villa, bro. Come on, Tammy Abraham stepping up. Let's see what is what does his stats look like. Uh, Abraham. Tammy Abraham, he's 87 rated, 6'5 with 87 pace. What? 97 heading, 87 jumping, 99 strength. Bro, this card actually looks nuts. McGinn. McGeady, that's what he's got. When Coleman came in as manager, one of the, they interviewed one of the Sunderland fans. That 99 shot power, though. Jeez, that 99 long shots. He was like, I'd rather my wife sleep with Chris Coleman than the window washer or something like that. Dude, I, I had to pause it. I was like, bro, what is this place? Dude, it looks so sick. There we go, Tammy. What? Well, it looks like I'm uh, well on my way to becoming a Sunderland supporter, it looks like. <laughs> Shit. Ooh! McGeady. That's what he's got. Hernandez. Oh, the Spaniard kicks things off. Let's go. 3 1. Yo, bro, honestly, I feel like it, there was there was a point in the epi where I was like, I honestly feel like I could have done a better job managing Sunderland. Obviously, like, that's half a joke, but it's almost like, dude, who was that guy? Grayson? M Mason? <laughs> Kevin Spacey? That first half with an actual controller went much better than the first half. Uh, then the first half of the first match, seven shots, seven on target, three goals scored, a distance, long shot, shot power banger with Aiden Ivory Roast McGeady. Brook, David Myler. Oof. Oh, 
I didn't anticipate it. But we got it with him. Abraham. We got it with Tampi Abraham. Let's go. Wait, what? Excuse me? There we go. McGeady, there we go. That's going to be what? 4-1? That's going to be 4-1 and the Aiden Mc... No, James Collins. Never mind. The, Ever the other Ivory Coast player. Fulhanave. That's going to be gone. Abraham. Damn it, Abraham. He's not going to miss that chip. Or he is. Okay. Well, outside the box, his chipping capability is absolute trash. Long shots are 78. Is that affecting his chips from outside the box? A draw and then a very decisive victory. I feel like we probably would have gotten the win in match number one had we had the right controller for the first half. As a matter of fact, I'm sure of it. Match number two, and we get the quattractor, or whatever the phrase is when you score four goals with four different players in the team. We're going to have to give a consensus rating in terms of emotionality and in terms of being a super sub with some really nice distance shooting stats, some really nice, dri uh, really nice dribbling, five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, 71 stamina leaves a lot to be desired. I'm going to give it an emotionality rating of a thumbs up 100%, but when it comes down to actual value, which is what most of you guys are concerned about probably in game, especially with uh, team of the season being here and, and penny pinching and, and utilizing your coins to get the player that you're most excited about, I'm going to have to go and give it a thumbs down in terms of value. 50,000 coins, a little bit too expensive for this card. Probably should have come in closer around 30, 35,000 coins, but um, alas, he was just a little bit too overpriced. But again, Aiden McGeady has a skill move named after him. And uh, is just one of those emotional players all the way all the way back to FIFA 12 has that 84 rated card and this is like Odegaard's card being the highest rated Odegaard this is the highest rated Aiden McGeady card that we have ever had as a matter of fact I think the stipulation for these team of the season moments cards is that they couldn't have had a team of the season card prior so um yeah, that's going to be the rating, boys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully, this has helped you figure out whether or not you want to do this card or not. You're probably watching this at halftime of Championship Sunday. So, whoever you're supporting, whether it be Liverpool or Manchester City, I am rooting for just happiness for everyone, even though it's going to be crushing for some. I almost hope that Manchester City win it because then Liverpool can get Champions League, you know, so then both fans, you know, both sets of fans are going to be uh, appeased. But we will see how the cookie crumbles. We will see how it folds out. But like I said, boys, if this has helped you, drop a cheeky like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next, well, might actually see you for another upload today if, if the uh, if the one o'clock SPC is super sweet. Till next time, bros. Choose later. Adieu.